Donald Trump might meet Johnson despite his resignation, U.S. Ambassador to UK Boris Johnson stood down from his position as Foreign Secretary earlier this week, in protest of UK Prime Minister Theresa May's exit strategy, which he believes is fundamentally flawed. U.S. President Donald Trump could meet Britain's former minister despite his recent resignation, according to U.S. Ambassador to the UK Woody Johnson, The Independent reported on Wednesday. Read more, Donald Trump may confront protesters during UK visit, Blair's ex-aide, it's not on the schedule but the president makes his own schedule. We'll make everything possible if the president wants to do something, meet Johnson, if the president wants to do it, and he feels it's appropriate to do it, he'll make that decision. US Ambassador to the UK Woody Johnson told BBC Radio Foz Today Show. He went on to describe Johnson and Trump as friends, and said they have a warm and close relationship, which began during Trump's 2016 presidential election campaign. Moreover, commenting on the intra-government crisis over Brexit in the UK, the ambassador said he wasn't alarmed by it as there is always turmoil in every country, insisting that the UK is proceeding in the way it always does. Earlier, President Trump described Britain as somewhat in turmoil, ahead of his two-day trip to the country, his first official visit to the UK as head of state. Brits have planned mass protests across the UK to voice their opposition to Trump's policies. London Mayor Sadi Khan has drawn criticism for allowing an activist to hoist a Trump baby blimp over London during the US president's visit, with some suggesting that Khan wouldn't have authorized such a spectacle if the blimp was of Obama. Police forces throughout the UK will be pooling resources and deploying thousands of police officers to maintain order at the protests and bolster the capital's security during Trump's visit. Police chiefs have warned that this could leave their primary areas vulnerable to crime, as many forces are already suffering from manpower shortages. Read more.